transition into spring. Thanks, Dakota. A big day for all of us here at Erie, Erie News Now and Lily Broadcasting. We're celebrating the 75th anniversary of WICU hitting the airwaves March 15th of 1949. And a guy who's been a part of WICU for so many years, for 40 plus years, uh, Paul Wagner is here this morning. And Paul, this is the first time in all that time that you actually had to knock on the door to get into the Yeah, studio. I literally had to knock on the door <laughs> to get in. Didn't have my key anymore. Right. So we've got a legend in the building. Yes. After all these years, can you take us for a walk down memory lane? Oh. Uh, there's so many, uh, so many stories. China, Marjorie Dale Armstrong, just some of the, my personal Paul Wagner highlights. What were some of the most memorable stories for you? Well, I think th I, I'd like to break down into two categories. The, the uh, most important stories I think I ever covered was certainly the Albion tornadoes in 1985. I mean, I spent months in Albion and all the other communities that were just devastated. That was probably the biggest story in my whole career. And the other you just mentioned, Marjorie Deal Armstrong. I still have people, probably when I go to the grocery store today, <laughs> still ask me about the pizza bombing trial. And of course, I did the NBC Dateline when they came to town afterwards to talk about it. But as far as uh, uh, memories, I think going to China, n nothing can beat when you're working for the station, you're walking on the Great Wall of China. Sure. And close to that was when Pope John Paul II came to Toronto mm. for World Youth Day and all the Erie Catholic teenagers went and I was with him and the Pope's helicopter came above and he was waving and the kids literally were so emotional. I mean, they were completely overcome with joy and with, uh, with emotion seeing the Pope. So those are two things that really stick out. Could you ever have imagined a career like the one that you've had? Not really. I always knew when I was young I wanted to do something like this, but uh, uh, Probably not as many memories as I uh, as I came up with. It's amazing. Can you talk about you know your time here? But now 75 years for WICU, uh, the impact that uh, the station's had on the community through your eyes. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing you mentioned. Community is that the station has always ingrained itself with the Erie community, and uh, that goes back to 1956, way before I started, when the uh, city was hit by that Thanksgiving snowstorm, and the whole operations for clearing the city was right here in the studio, not at City Hall here, <laughs> and that carried on all through the years and. Of course, now, uh, I mean, you guys just going out every Friday morning delivering donuts and coffee to people. That's part of the community. And, uh, you know, the bringing the traveling Vietnam Wall in a couple years ago and collecting for the Second Harvest Food Bank and sponsoring the concerts on the Bayfront. All those things, the station has always been really, really part of the community. And as far as news goes, the community has always meant more than just Erie. I, I spent half my career in Warren and Oil City and Quarry and Edinburgh and and Clarion and Pittsburgh and everywhere else, the station has always felt that the community was a much bigger region than just the city. We saw you alongside Lisa Adams at the anchor desk there in some of the video that we're looking at this morning. Uh, you're gonna leave out some names, but can you talk about some of the great names that you've been able to work alongside? Well, I was here, you know, I, I'm so old, I started in the <laughs> 1970s, and uh, Ned McGrath and Heil Richmond and Shirley Ramsey and Vance McBride and Bill Knopp, and they were all here, The really the core that was here during the the 1950s when the station and, and the 60s and I got to work with all of them. What's it been like seeing the technology and all the changes oh, over all the years? It, it's like night and day. When I started Tracy, we didn't have any of the high tech graphics that Dakota has for weather and we had little magnets with, <laughs> with the clouds. We were just talking Second about that this morning. Today. Yeah, <laughs> with the clouds and the sun and several times we'd be doing the news and the weather man or woman would be up there and the cloud would fall right onto the floor and clatter because the magnet would <laughs> fail. We hope we can do that on Eclipse Day, today. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we had, of course, no cell phones, no live technology. You know, we had film yeah. and luckily in, paper in, 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 yeah, in college, yeah. I had manual typewriters. In college, I had uh, done some film editing. So luckily we came here and we were, oh you know, goodness. five minutes before air, we had film and we used the uh, uh, razor blades and scotch tape to, <laughs> to put the film together. No, no matter what the technology was, Paul, you brought the story to the viewers of WICU, wow. and we thank you for that. Well, so many thank years you both. Doing that. Great to see you. Yeah, great to see good you, to and see uh, you. Just, you know, so glad that you've been a part of this uh, WICU legacy 75 years ago today. Erie News Now Sunrise is coming right back.